guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well out there. How good is that? It is a beautiful part of the world down here and I actually have come to a different neck of the woods. I am down south uh, in Tugan, Tweed and the Palm Beach suburbs. And to be honest, there's plenty of op shops around here. I've been plotting my path all morning over a coffee. And as you can see, we've got plenty to get into today. Today's episode is the Thursday episode, my favorite day of the week on this channel where I take the camera out and we go into a few op shops to try and find some treasure to sell on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. If you're into reselling by any means, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I am putting out three videos every single week. But today's a fun one because we're in a new part of the world and I haven't been into any of these op shops and I kind of like that. So hopefully, if it's anything like the weather out here today, it's going to be hot inside these op shops and we'll be able to find some absolute gold. So it's going to be a fun one. Looking forward to getting stuck into it. Let's get started. First one up, guys. Let's see what the Southern Gold Coast has to offer. So a pretty good first stop there guys, good way to kick off the day. Um, the books were the main one there. I found two of the yoga books, um, The Key Poses of Yoga and The Key Muscles of Yoga. So both of these books were going for over $50. I'm gonna bundle these up and make it about a hundred bucks um, all in free post. I wanna try and undercut all of the other um, sales that are sitting up there for around the $50. I think having only paid $2 each, $4 in, if I do see even go 40 bucks each and make it an $80 buy, um, I'm probably gonna get a quicker sale. So I was really surprised to see them go for so much. But then again, those medical type books, they always do go for a pretty good price. So happy to find those. Found the industry shirt as well, just like the color to this one, the size as well was pretty important um, obviously an extra large really nice pattern long sleeve the brand industry I speak about industry a lot guys so when I saw that I just nicked it off the shelf uh, seven bucks for that one I'm gonna try and turn that into 20 to 25 dollars uh, just a great brand I personally wear it myself and I know that it does go on to sell pretty well on eBay uh, and then Bisley Workwear guys Bisley Workwear is a great brand to get your hands on hard yakka as well in the men's range um, workwear is very very good um, these are obviously tagged brand new uh, the resale value as you would have seen there 50 bucks um, so to get three pairs for $10 each $30 in I'm gonna be in the profit as soon as I sell one of those three so easy buy $30 three pairs of pants uh, two were the same size one was slightly larger um, but to be honest they're brand new so I really didn't mind spending $10 no matter what the size was um, awesome to find those but really apart from that I sort of scoured the rest of the place um, CDs games books um, books were the best I could find in those two yoga ones. Uh, that was really everything. I, I did spend a bit of time in there, which I think you really should do. You should spend your time, make sure you're finding everything you possibly can in each one. And being a brand new op shop and having never been in it before, I wanted to make sure that I was spending quite a bit of time to really sift through it. Um, but yeah, I mean, few items, $41 spent at the end of the day. Um, what have we got? Five items, six items with the two books. So let's go off to the next one. Good start so far. Pretty happy with the way we've kicked things off. Um, let's hope we can find some real good ones in the next one. Looks 
Looks like we've got another Vinnie's straight ahead. Two Vinnie's in a row, let's see how we go. It ended up being a really small op shop. There wasn't a whole heap to pick from, but we still did some damage. Managed to find a couple of things, which was great. I firstly scanned through the board shorts. I always, if you've been watching this channel, you know I love my board shorts. And I found two really good brands that I wanted to talk to you about. The first one being Von Zipper. So Von Zipper is a great brand. I don't come in across a hell of a lot, but this was just a plain black. Um, Von Zipper is just a very quality make. It's a surf brand. Goes really well here on the Gold Coast. These are only three dollars. Board shorts are three bucks. I'm always going to strike. There's a good twenty bucks to be made there on these. That in like new condition. Nothing wrong with them. The label's still intact. Everything's really good. The size on this one is an extra large as well. So I think that'll be fine. That'll sell really well. It's just a plain, but the brand is what sells, and I reckon I'll get twenty to twenty-five. And then speaking of brands, I also found another classic the mambo so i got the mambo board shorts um as you can see there kind of cool pattern to it as well uh there's the label and now she's in really good condition this one and again it was only three bucks so when you're seeing board shorts for three dollars and they're not too bad of a size this one's a 36 you just buy it um that's going to be another 20 to 25 dollars pretty easily i'd say so two pairs of board shorts and then i had a real good sift through the kids toys as well because i think that's a great space to be playing in leading into the christmas time and i managed to find myself a couple of halo figurines now halo is an xbox game it's um a really a really popular game to be honest and this one is the master chief now master chief was just comping amazingly well and i did pick these guys up initially thinking that the comps were going to be good and then sure enough they've uh, proved to be correct um i think i'll get some real i don't know exactly how much and i actually don't know what this guy's name is but i'm going to do some digging to work him out um but both of these they might go as a pair a bit like the books um on oh, i don't know maybe 40 bucks 50 bucks for the two um we'll see uh, I know they're going to be certainly a whole lot more than three dollars. So, three bucks for those, three bucks each for the board shorts. We've only spent twelve bucks today in the end. Um, so, pretty good for that stop number two. It was only a little one, but we managed to get some items out of it, which was uh, which was good. So, let's get off to op shop number three. It's only around the corner, so we're going to jump straight into it, and hopefully, we can pull away a few more items.
clothes and shoes in that run, guys. But a couple of good pieces, actually. I found this Argentina soccer jersey as well, uh, number 10. So this one, I, it's actually in pretty pretty good quality. It's Mario Kempe's uh, or Kempe's on the back. Um, so that one was actually in pretty good condition. It's an Adidas. It's a size medium. Um, it's, if it's a fake, it's a, it's a pretty good fake, put it that way. I'm not 100% sure. It's got some good embroidery, some good logos on there as well. So um, I'm going to write it off as a fake, and I still think another 25 to 30, but at least it's a good quality piece. Um, this one's very much a genuine product, which is great. It's a Red Bull Holden Racing t-shirt. Um, you can just tell with the way that it's been made that it's completely genuine. Um, I would imagine these would go for about 35 to $40 and uh, this one's a size medium as well. It's got a big uh, Red Bull Racing on the back as well. Red Bull's actually really quite hard to find. Genuine Red Bull products, if you get your hands on anything Red Bull, you're gonna make a few dollars. So when I saw this, and I would say it's almost like new, um, I'm gonna get top dollar for that one. That was a really cool find, probably 35. I'll probably put a buy it now for 45 free post. Um, I did find some Tommy Hilfiger as well. So it's been a little while since I've come across Tommy, but whenever I find him, I buy him. Um, this one's a size large right there, Tommy Hilfiger. It's just a long sleeve checkered uh, button up shirt, but that's sort of an essential that you always find, um, or whenever you do find, you always buy. Um, and then the last one as well, um, not genuine or vintage or anything like that, but Michael Jackson t-shirt for $6. Um, it's also double sided as well, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, so it's got the black and white on the back and then obviously on the front as well in color. So this one, I don't know exactly how much it will fetch. The tag says it's hot ice. So I've got to do some research into hot ice and see if that's anything. But in all fairness, I don't think it is. But look, if I get 20 to $25 for it, it's going to be a pretty good result at the end of the day. A lot of MJ fans out there. And then in the shoes, I bought a few pairs of shoes. There was actually quite a number of Converse All-Stars, which I almost grabbed. But in the end, I stuck with the running shoes. These Under Armour running shoes, I'm going to be able to clean up really well. The soles are actually still got plenty of wear left in them. So I've bought these. I'm going to try and turn that in at 30. Don't worry about that. I'll get him off uh, with a bit of gumption. And I also found the Vermeero 12s in the Nikes. Um, so these green Vermeero 12s, I had to grab these for $12. Paid a little bit more than what I'd normally pay for shoes, but they are in great condition. Give the sole a bit of a clean and they'll be fine as well. So grab those. And then the last, oh, actually no, I passed on a few other pair of shoes. So I only grabbed the two pairs of shoes in the end. There were a few New Balance shoes that I almost grabbed, um, but I ended up passing. Um, one thing that I did want to mention is I thought I'd found an absolute grail with the Mad Max uh, comic books, but they were Australian versions and I did extensive amount of comp research while I was in there on almost all of them. There were about 32 uh, magazines and um, American copies or American versions of the Mad Max magazines go for a hell of a lot more than the Australian versions. And unfortunately, every single one of the versions that I had were the Aussie versions. So I had to pass on all of them. They were all comping at around $2 each and they were asking $2. So even on a negotiation front, I wasn't making too many dollars. Um, sort of had to just let those go, but I really did think I'd found something special there. But in the end, uh, it wasn't to be. Um, so great op shop actually that one there down south um i was really happy to uh to see a whole lot going on in there and there was a lot of cool stuff that i even passed on as well um, but i'm happy with a few of these items here as well i'm going to go to one more and uh and that'll round out the day so fingers crossed uh, another cool op shop to finish and a few more goodies to show you guys so let's get into the last one this day guys not too bad of a final stop i only paid eleven dollars if you can believe 
Uh, the first one that we've got is a very crisp pair of golfing pants in the Nike range. These are just a plain white, um, size 36 waist, and to be honest, I've been hardly worn. So to get a pair of crisp whites in the golf uh, pants uh, like that was a really good find. That was only $3, uh, so I couldn't say no to that. Now, there's a brand that just moves really well on eBay, and that brand is Levi's. If you find Levi's, just grab it because there's always going to be a fast sale to be made. Now, this one's just a women's shirt. Um, it's quite plain, to be honest. There's not a lot to it, but it was just the brand that I bought it for. Um, for $3, you can't go wrong. This will hopefully sell for about 15 to 20. Um, when you're buying it that cheap, you've just got to do it, I think. Um, I also found the calculator. Calculator guys, they were actually, a, the scientific calculators are a great space to get into because they do sell pretty well. And like you saw, uh, only 50 cents. So 50 cents, this will turn into a few dollars pretty quick on eBay and I tested it all out and she works well. So I've got the calculator. When you see the calculators, grab those as well. Uh, and then these Adidas shoes, as you can see there, were hardly worn. So I've had to pinch these as well. They just look really cool and they're going to clean up really good as well. So they are, I believe, a women's shoe. Um, the size is a seven. So women's seven in the Adidas shoes. Um, very similar actually to the uh, green Nikes that I bought as well. So anyway, a couple of pairs of shoes today in, uh, in the running shoes. But that was it, $11 for those four items. So you can't go wrong with that. You're gonna make some money and that's what we're here for at the end of the day. Um, that'll, that'll do me though, guys, I'm all done. Um, I've had a few today. I don't know exactly how many items, but I've been probably spent over, tick over $100, which is pretty standard, I think, for a Thursday. So I'm gonna throw it all back into the system at home now, get it listed and hopefully make a few sales before the weekend. But um, that was everything for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're brand new to thrifting or if you're thinking about getting into thrifting, these sort of videos are designed to try and help you out there find that item that can sell for a little bit of money. So if you weren't aware of certain brands, hopefully today's video can teach you about the brands that actually do go on to sell for some pretty good money. Um, and if you're a seasoned uh, full-time reseller and you've done this for a while, hopefully you just enjoyed the process of uh, watching somebody else go out thrifting and, and finding items. But uh, that'll do me for today. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't hit the like button and you're still here watching this video, clearly you have enjoyed it. Uh, so hit that like button. That'd be very, very much appreciated. Um, I'll catch you on Sunday. I'm going to do a what's sold video I'll show you a few of my sold items over the last two weeks so uh hopefully you enjoy that as well but um until next time guys we'll see you in the next episode appreciate you tuning into this one bye bye